Well guys, as you can see, we have reached the point of the year where there is snow on the ground. Um, fair bit of it snowed overnight. It looks like all of it ended up just on the boat. Yeah, this may be our last trip out of the season here. So uh, we're going to get all snow off the cover, get the boat ready, head out on the lake, and hopefully uh, crack a couple of good, good bass to end off our uh, open water boat slash bass season this year. So let's get to it. And just like that, the boat is coated in snow, which sucks, but <laughs> hopefully the snow kind of goes away a little bit. Look at that. Welcome to winter. <laughs> <laughs> Tried to jump, he couldn't. It's just chunky. Oh, look, cracker. All right, guys, look how long that fish is. Not really fat, which is kind of odd to see this time of year. But, uh, see how much she weighs. She's not going to be heavy because she doesn't have that belly, but. Yeah, no. Low fours. Low fours. Just like that. It's a releaser. There you go. Nugget. Oh. The snow slowed down a little bit. The carpet's still pretty gross. Got some nice cloud cover. I hope it doesn't snow, but it's not, it's not that bad out today. It's not that cold out. Cracked it. He's pulling drag, eh? Yeah. yeah, no, he's pulling drag. God, I cracked it. There you go, guys. He pulled some drag. I thought he was gonna be a big one, but smaller ones usually are a little more feisty. It's probably gonna be high three, low four. Let's have a look here. I three. Right there. Just absolute choach. Let's play some guys. Should be good to go. Right back down. You can see his white belly when he swims down. It's so plump. <laughs> oh, no way. Talk to back. <laughs> Cracked it again. He's not, he's not, I don't think he's big, but so I don't think he's big, but. Come here, church. Come here, church. Ah, take him off. No more church. I missed it. I was recording. I just had to look into a fish and it. <laughs> this is an angry fish, eh? Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> He's so mad. Aaron. Let's see what she goes on the scale. Holy crap. I really wish I had that hook set on video. I literally set the hook. I thought you were hung. Aaron thought I was hung. Because like, it, it just went shh. And I'm like, wait one sec. Let's wait for the tail kick, tail kick. And then tail kick. It went shh. <laughs> All right. 
That will do. All right, guys. Look at that fish, nice and dark. Angry, angry fish. All right, well, if you stop shaking, he's right at five pounds. <laughs> so, first good one of the day. All right, then let's release him. Ah, should be good to go, Chooch. Oh yeah, he was so angry. <laughs> Sweet! Oh yeah, we found where the nuggets winner. <gasps> there you go. Nice. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Quickly turn it over just to fog it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> Guys, there's literally ice in here. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, two feet. Okay. I still need the foot to walk over there. Yeah, so just push it straight back. Okay. Got her in. All right, we got the boat in its uh, hibernation spot. I'm gonna clean up the inside of the boat a little bit. As you guys can see, there's some grime and such. Probably can't really see too well, there's some grime and such. I also have the seat conditioner I'm gonna use, clean up the seats. There's also some uh, sand and such in the corners. We just finished up the uh, spark plugs, as you guys saw, the gear oil. And so what we have left is live well and batteries and i think that's about it so we got as much of the water out of all the lines as we could now we're just going to stick a little bit of antifreeze in there because there's probably going to be a little bit left and we don't want it to freeze and then when it uh melts to explode so we're gonna do that and battery's out and pretty much done Now it should be fine. Okay. It's a little bit fine, I think. I'm just gonna do some quick cleaning up with all my stuff. I'm not gonna be using it until uh, I don't remember when Pike opens, like May. <laughs> so I'm gonna take all the baits off. Um, pretty much all I do for my reels in the winter is I actually clean them all in the spring, but in the winter I just loosen the drag off all the way and just kind of let them sit. So um, it might not be the best thing to do for them, but that's kind of what I do. And then in the springtime, I take them, I grease them, I lube them and all that. But I'm gonna do that quickly, take all the baits off, reel all the line in and uh, loosen the drag fully. So just there's no tension in there over the winter. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna clean up my baits a little bit. Yeah. Just clear everything up and make sure this is all nicely air sealed and uh, go through here as well, make sure everything's closed. All of my uh, waterproof boxes are fully closed and so that'll be good to go. The great thing about having it in the garage is that I can access everything. Um, so I have a couple of like lake trout stuff and some of my rattle traps and stuff still in the boat. So when ice season comes around, I'll have to get in here and get all that stuff out. But um, it's very nice to be able to store in a garage. Hard baits. And all my bass mafias over there and all the rods and reels in here we'll see uh, i might take the reels off um leave the rods but take the reels off and bring them inside where it's not so cold um but it's not quite winter yet so i have a little bit of time to decide what i'm going to do with that so yeah bounce sheets uh batteries out 
and we're out. Ooh, so this is the uh, second time in two weeks that my mic has actually crapped out on me. So I'm gonna get that checked out. But uh, this is just my outro here. I was just pretty much talking about how great of a year I've had with this boat. Picked it up in the spring. My, uh, the f my very first uh, fiberglass boat that I have ever owned and I cannot be more happy with it. Uh, pretty great year of fishing. Um, the largemouth were a little bit off this year. had a little bit of a harder time finding them, but we did a lot of multi-species in the boat. We caught a couple PBs, um, had a lot of great company, and made a lot of memories. So uh, the boat is put to sleep. So soon we're going to be ice fishing, so stay tuned for those videos. I'm really excited about that. And I'm going to be counting down the months, I guess, till I get to take the boat out again next spring. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.